All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yeah, 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 another. And listen, man, y'all already know what the fuck is about to happen. Y'all already know what's going on. You read the title, and yes, we're in for another huge, huge sneaker and clothing haul. Now, I got stuff from brands like Commonwealth, Sample Industries, uh, Nike ACG, Supreme Stone Island, Supreme and Nike. What else we got? Cav Imped. I mean, it's a lot of stuff in the stack and even got a couple pieces from Fam Mail. Now, y'all already know how we start this off. Y'all already know how I gotta do. Give me a second, let me grab this stack so y'all can see what we really working with. And yes, yes, this is the stack. We have a lot, a lot of stuff to go through and I had the slight Supreme bag on the bottom. I'm trying not to drop everything in the stack. So give me one second, let me put all this shit in the back and we go through it one by one. Now, first things first, we have to get into this new Sample Industries collection. This is dropping on March 30th, obviously inspired by construction and kind of workwear gear. Now, we have two tees, two hoodies, and the multi-pocket vest. And like I said, everything is dropping on March 30th. You can follow at SMPLIND, and I will have a link down below if you want to check anything out. So, let's get into it. First off, the tee. Now, I'm actually wearing the black tee underneath the flannel right now. You guys see the little logo right there, so I can't show off the black tee, but I do have the safety yellow tee right here. First off, I just want to dive into some of the details in this actual collection. First off, let's start with the tags. This is something that you guys know we always do with Sample. We try and make every piece unique, hence Sample Industries. Right here you say, notice, Sample Employees Only. A plastic tag down here says, do not remove this tag. Tag must be visible on product. It says, quality check pre shunk and inspection date on January 1st, 2019. This one has been one that we have had in the works for a little while and Excel on the back. Now the T itself is true to size. This one in particular is in that safety yellow colorway, kind of hard to get the exact colorway through the actual camera on the front says sample industries employee in black and red and then towards the back you got kind of like this construction sample industries and then we always kind of pay attention to the little details so you have the va and ga office 757 and 404 represented in the back for me being in 757 virginia beach and then you have tony over there in georgia atlanta area with the 404 and the number is 555-7675-7675 meaning sm PL. Yes, the little details do matter. Now that was just the first tee. Then we get into this multi-pocket vest, which is probably the most, I don't want to say most unique, but it was one of those pieces where um, it almost actually didn't go through because to make these things how we really want them, it was a bit expensive, but we had to make sure we had a part of the collection. And this is the vest. And yes, everything in the gray is a reflective material. On the front, you do have five different pockets. You have one on the left top, like the left chest, one at the left at the bottom, on three on the right side. A slip pocket at the bottom right, a Velcro in the middle, and then a Velcro kind of near the shoulder. So that's why we call the multi-pocket vest. Definitely a different and unique piece from this collection. And once again, Sample Industries on the back of this as well. And remember, even though all these definitely do go together, you don't have to wear all the stuff together. You know, some people are just gonna like the vest, some people are gonna like the tee, and I know people are gonna dig this hoodie now. This hoodie, man, quality-wise, it blew me away. It's an all over neoprene hoodie and you can go true to size in any of this stuff if you decide to grab it. You have Sample Industries embroidered in white on the front and where you see like this safety ribbon, that's actually embroidered in on the top. So it's a whole nother layer added to the piece. You have that around the elbows as well. You have that safety orange on the drawstrings. Kind of an exaggerated hood on this one as well. You have that same safety orange color at the cuffs to kind of mimic the gloves. And then towards the back, you have our other other sample industries logo all over white all embroidered in and remember this hoodie comes in that safety yellow colorway or the all over black colorway so that is the new construction pack dropping on March 30th neoprene nice soft cottons kind of like a polyester or nylon mix on the vest it's just a lot of good shit really really proud of this collection like I said all links will be down below so we also got some stuff in the fan mail and this was actually a gag gift I'm assuming we do the Gloves Off podcast, me and Tony, from time to time. I will leave that link down below. We've been doing that for, I would say, over a year and a half, maybe two years at this point. We definitely, or I definitely, got to get back on it. And we did a one of these live streams on one of our podcasts, and we were making fun of the whole mystery box online thing. And we were opening up a Supreme LV box, and we kept getting these socks. So I guess somebody watched the podcast.
podcast, watched the live stream, actually bought a pair of socks and sent it to me. This was like the lowest tier thing in a Supreme LV like mystery box on opening. And um, I mean, we opened up a good amount of boxes. I'd say three or four and we got socks every time. Definitely not worth it. And um, on the box it says, can you say in the vid, Kimmy? It says it's from Windows Cheetos. So shouts out to Windows Cheetos and shouts out to Kimmy for this little gag gift. Once again, if you guys aren't following the podcast, it's the Gloves Off Podcast. Once again, links down below. Next up, we actually got some more serious fan mail from the homie Breon over at Loose Threads. I've been following that man for a very long time. I know he prints all his own stuff, so I definitely support him and what he's been doing. Like I said, I've E known, I guess, or been following the man for a very long time. So he actually sent me some stuff out from his Red Therapy and Living to Death collections. I'm gonna get into that now. So, first off, we have this white tee. This is called the Patient One t shirt. As you can see, kind of like not all over the place, but some scattered graphics on the front says Red Therapy Session, Spring, Summer, SS19 with the yellow happy face on it. And once again, you can definitely go true to size. Everything does fit oversized for sure um but if you like that oversized fit just get your true size on the site and you should be good to go this one black blue yellow and white i definitely dig the t and as always shouts out to the homie and thank you so i tossed that one over here and then we have one more thing that is coming from that red therapy side now this is the the end hoodie and i really have to say that from the last hoodie that i got even though i enjoyed that hoodie i really like the heavier cotton fleece on this one it's definitely very very cozy and i think this is a sample of what the actual hoodie looks like but it's gonna look exact same way if you decide to grab one it's all over black love the fit once again does feel a little bit oversized but just very very cozy the end on the front with the horses and this all over blue Brian, i don't know what it is about horses but i don't know man you must love horses or something because that's on a lot of your pieces or at least the hoodies and different things like that so the end hoodie this does not have drawstrings kind of reminds me more of a, a shawl hoodie but listen nonetheless Definitely, definitely dig this one. And last up, I have this living to death tee right here. Really, really big graphic, really eye-catching graphic on the front. Living to death, got the skull, the skeleton hands. And on the bottom, if I can read this really quick, it says, learn from all the mistakes, the losses, the regret. This is another chance at life. Oh, such a beautiful thing. Be as much as you can with your time on earth so definitely some messages represented in this t as well and the same thing goes for sizing does fit oversized got my regular xl and um they definitely fit wider but i like that oversized fit so once again shouts out to homie breon and shouts out to loose threats Now this hoodie right here is from the brand Commons Lanes. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know the homie actually sent me something else over. And it's the same exact hoodie, but was in black with the gold chains at the neck. Now this one is in an all over white. You have the Commons Lane kind of pedestrian walking all over white stitching, white embroidery on the front. And then you have that silver chain, that kind of like little accent a little bit, makes it a little unique. Thing on the hoodie and you can clip these together if you want and like I mentioned before bro if you've been watching for a while you know the brand you've seen one of these hoodies before but this is kind of like a reverse colorway of it so once again shouts out to the homie and always links are down below if you want to grab one now up next I actually had a couple quick pickups from the homies over at Commonwealth you guys know I shop there all the time they actually have a new location in Town Center by Pembroke Mall for anyone who is coming or going or stays in Virginia Beach a town center that's where they i think it's four five eight two or four five two eight main street right across from anthropology um they just actually opened their brand new store i was there they had kind of like a soft opening party went to the after party and just hung out and i went back the second day to actually cop a few things now this first hat is an ebbets field like collab between them um and it is the peace and anarchy hat it's an all over really really nice wool it's a soft build but i actually really like the fit and this is actually a fitted cap i'm trying to add some more fitted caps back into my rotation of a million snaps backs and strap backs and zip back hats that I have but I'm really really dig this I love the color and I like that kind of like Chanel or flock detail up here on the front little Commonwealth tag on the side now that was the hat and I actually cop two tees 
obviously you guys know me from VA from the beach so I always cop stuff if it says Virginia on it I definitely definitely want it and these were two of the like handshake tees from Commonwealth now the one I have in the b-roll is this purple one but I will just go ahead and talk about the black one um, on the screen right now just so you guys can see the difference now on the back they actually do say Commonwealth for the greater good Virginia Beach VA which is of course why I love to take stuff like this on trips just to let people know where I'm from and all in all just a super super comfy t-shirt got mine in the XL and they fit true to size extremely extremely comfy tees so if you're ever in Virginia if some y'all coming down for something in the water I still need to figure that out myself hey check out the homies at Commonwealth two new tees and a hat and I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of that footage that I had from the grand opening event Now up next, I know I mentioned to you guys that I picked up a couple things from Bodega on a really, really good sale. Now first off, I have these Cav Imp socks. I don't really need to get into them. They just say Cav Imp black and like this really, really bright orange kind of colorway. It's just some new socks all over black from Cav Imp. Now unfortunately, I ordered these two things. I swore I ordered these pants in a size large. They are the Adidas Calabasas pants, kind of that more I'm geode swollen. colorway. I just dropped some, but in that more geode colorway, they came in an extra small. I checked my order, and for I don't know how I added an extra small, but I got an extra small on accident. So I'll probably be throwing these up on the bodega. They are brand new, and they are almost forty dollars below retail. Brand new Calabasas pants. If I can sell these, then I'll probably cop my size large. Now, I also cop this right here. This is a Nike Lab ACG vest. This is like a running hydration vest. I just kind of like how it looked. It just is a bit small. It's a lot smaller than I thought. It's a size large to XL, but it's a very, very small vest in my opinion. Overall, I do like how this looks. It has a really dope ACG, new age ACG look to it, but I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping this or not. It may end up on the bodega, um, but it is a running like race vest, but that's not how I was planning on actually like wearing it and styling. I was gonna actually plan on wearing it as if it was a regular like ACG Nike vest. I just really like the colors, the makeup, how it looks, the design, but unfortunately it is a bit small right now. Now the last two pickups were also from Cavent. I just pulled this t-shirt it out because you guys know I cop this I think back when I was in LA or coming back from New York or something I think I cop this one from Kith this is a Cav M design t-shirt and the only reason I bring this up is because I actually cop this right here this is the Cav M design world kind of crew neck sweatshirt now the retail is hefty on this the retail on this is 284 but with the sale on Bodega I got this for like a hundred dollars off which in my opinion is a steal for a Cav M piece like this I love the embroidery on the front the whole thing has like this over dyed vintage look to it and the material the cotton is nice nice and heavy the quality on this thing or quality on most if not all cabin stuff that I've copped is always, always on point. You got the rubber patch on the left sleeve with the cab imp. It may look like it's dirty, but that's just because this is an over dyed piece and they probably stitched this on before they did that over dyed process to turn the white on the cab imp and the logo into the blue. But all in all, I just love this thing, man. It's a wider, boxier fit. It's super, super comfy. And um, I mean, CE cab imp, it's kind of one of those brands where you know, if you know, you know. And I, I like the kind of low key flex of what this is. So, Cabin Design World Crew Neck, really, really love this, really, really digging it. And I was pretty stoked to actually get this one on sale. I didn't think I'll be able to get it on sale, but hey, people slept. So, I went ahead and took full advantage. And this also is something a little bit out of my comfort zone or what I would usually be wearing, but this is the turtleneck long sleeve. And it is a turtleneck long sleeve because it is a, uh, a turtleneck. It's a turtleneck long sleeve. This is, if not the only turtleneck that I actually own, but on body, I actually really like how this looks. Once again, it is cab bent, it is oversized. It's a wider, boxier fit, but the materials, the cotton is very, very similar to that Cab M Design World sweatshirt. It is a little bit lighter. It's not as heavy, it feels like. And I just love this over dyed purple color. Um, that's one of the things I love about Cab M, man. I know the quality is gonna be there every time. I love the way that they pigment dye or over dye their stuff. And um, once again, 
kind of empty. It's just that subtle flex of that tag on the side. If you know, you know. And I went ahead and copped this as well. Now the retail on this one is 220. It is hefty. I got this one for about 175, I believe. And um, cabin on sale for me, I mean, I'll take it, bro. Especially if I'm really, really digging the piece. Everything made in Japan. You already know the deal. So that was the last picker from Bodega. And now we got two more things to get into. <laughs> So the last two things that you guys can see right here, one is from Supreme and Nike, you already know what that is, and another Supreme bag from the Supreme and Stone Island collab. Um, you guys know I've been really, really picky with Supreme and what I pick up, but that Supreme and Stone Island collab is fire. I know the Supreme and um, North Face stuff is coming out tomorrow. I'm honestly not a big fan of the big Supreme Arc logo on it. I, I usually think just the Supreme North Face on the side and everything is great and it works. Um, so if you just want to know my ideas or my feelings against that new North Face Supreme collab, um, it's not the best one, but it's not horrible by any means. But this is actually the big like rucksack bag and this thing is huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. This is that all over coral camo and I really, really want to get the vest. The vest is fire. If I could get the vest and the pants, I think I would be good to go. Um, I know the jacket was also fire, but all in all, I was definitely digging the Stone Island collab more than this new North Face collab. But the bag is huge. Love that coral camo color. And um, the Stone Island Supreme Flex on the bag is always, it's always a nice little touch to it. And then last up, we have the Nike and Supreme Tailwind 4. Now, these retailed at 190 And you want to know something? I actually woke up late. I woke up at about 11, 15, 11, 20. I panicked and was like, fuck, bro. I really wanted that black pair. I know they're sold out. I get on my computer. They're available, full sizes. I copped with no problem, I was not mad at all. No resellers, no nothing, straight retail. I took them, got my Supreme Air Maxes, and here they are. And I got the black colorway, just because the white and red was cool, but my favorite thing about this black colorway is this copper kind of strip all around it. When the sunlight hits it right, it shines, and it's just a nice little effect, a nice little detail on this particular shoe. As far as sizing goes, because I did go ahead and try one of these on, they do fit pretty snug. You can go true to size like I did, but they will fit snug on your foot. Maybe after a couple wears, they'll ease up a little bit. But if I could have got a 12 and a half, that's exactly what I would have gotten. And I may be doing, more than likely, doing a full review on this shoe, hopefully very, very soon for you guys. Uh, for anyone that wants to cop them, I was kind of surprised at where the price went. I thought it would kind of like stagnate and kind of drop, but um, it doesn't really seem like it's dropping. It's not anywhere too crazy on the resale market. Um, but if you could have got them a retail and you slept and now you gotta pay the extra, you shouldn't have slept, bro. Trust me, this pair right here, Definitely, definitely digging these and um, looking forward to maybe one of the OG pairs of Tailwind colorways that's going to be dropping. But that was it, man. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course, supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, blessed by, of course. Hold on, I got them right here. So, bullet RC, and I'm going to see you on the next video. Supreme, Nike, Stone Island, Sample, Cab Imps. I mean, uh, what more? Commonwealth. What more do you want from me, bro? What more? That's it, man. Y'all be easy. Drop a like on this bit, by the way. Peace. <laughs>